Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I hope you're having a good day. Um, this is part two of the Solving Equations by Division video. So in the first video, we sort of developed an equation and solved it. And then we did four equations where we solved them by division and checked them. I just wanna look at some sort of slightly different ones now. Take a look at this one. It says negative x equals 26. Well, we talked about this earlier, but if there's no um, number in front of the variable, and we call that number a coefficient, then there actually is a number there, and that's the number 1. So you can think of this as negative 1x equals positive 26. Now, the goal is to make, show the value of positive 1x. So how do you turn negative 1 multiplied by x into positive 1x? Well, you divide it by negative 1. Because negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1x, and that's exactly what you want. If you divide that side by negative 1, you have to divide the other side by negative 1. And 26 divided by negative 1 is negative 26. Now let's check it, because the check to this is sort of interesting. You've got negative x equals 26. Well, if you substitute in negative 26 for x, you will have negative, negative 26 equals 26. And we know that negative, the two negatives subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So that's like 26 equals 26. We have equality on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, what about this one? This one often throws people off because you get a fraction or a decimal answer. I want to show, I have 5x equals 2. I want to show the value of positive 1x. So to show the value of positive 1x, I'm going to divide by 5. And if I divide this side by 5, I have to do the other side by 5. Well, 5 divided by 5 gives 1x. And 2 divided by 5. Well, I could just leave that as a fraction. 2 divided by 5 is 2 fifths. Um, you could also say x is 2 fifths. And if you remember from our fraction decimal percent unit, 2 fifths is the same as 4 over 10 or um, 0 and 4 tenths. Either of those are a great answer or 40%. Okay, the check. This is neat too because it brings in a topic we haven't talked about in a while. So if I write the equation 5x equals 2, well, let's say we said our answer, our answer was 2 fifths. Well, let's replace the x with 2 fifths. This is 5 multiplied by 2 fifths equals 2. Well, think about your multiplication of fractions. You could think of this as 5 over 1, right? 5 over 1 times 2 over 5. And if you remember your multiplication of fractions, doink, those cancel out, doink, doink, 1, 1. And that's equal to 2, right? 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. That's 2 over 1 or just 2. So both sides of the equal sign are the same. So we can even solve these equations with fractions and decimals. Let's take a look at this one. Um, 15 equals negative y. Well, remember, when you see this, think of it as negative 1y. And we want to show the value of positive 1y. To do that, we can divide this side by negative 1 because negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1y. And if we do divide negative 1 there, we have to divide negative 1 there. And 15 divided by negative 1 is negative 15. Um, and that's the same as saying negative 15 equals y. Now my check. I'll write the original equation, 15 equals negative y. And I'll replace y with negative 15. So this is going to be like negative, negative 15, right? Same as the previous one. And negative, negative 15 is the same as positive 15. So both sides of the equal sign work out.
It's nice when that happens. Um, the last one, another fractional one. Um, 17 equals 2 multiplied by some number. I want to show the value of positive 1x. So to turn multiply by 2 into positive 1, I can divide by 2. And I'll do the same thing there. Well, 17 divided by 2, I could leave it as the improper fraction. 17 over 2 equals um, 2 divided by 2 is 1x. Or I could remember that this is a, a mixed number as well. How many times will 2 go into 17? What will go in 7? 8 times, right? 2 times 8 is 16. 8 times. And then remainder 1 over 2. So I could say x is equal to 8.5. Or I could say in decimal form as well, right? This is 8 and 5 tenths. And then for my check... We'll check to see if this works. 17 equals 2 multiplied by some number. 17 equals um, 2 times, let's say, 8. Let's use the decimal version, 8 and a half. Well, I know 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times a half is 1. So for sure, that equals 17. So both sides of the equation are true, and we're good. So those are some of the different kinds of equations you might encounter when solving equations by division. I hope that helps. Um, you'll have an assignment on this today and use this video to help you with the assignment. That's all for now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.